I doing out there? This is Mike from Rad Rod Heaven. A um, few things that I got. I wasn't going to open them, but I did. Uh, I really wanted to look into this car, especially the brand that did. Oh, excuse me. The brand that did the car now that took over. Um, I really want to look at the car. But let me start off by saying thank you to Todd H. I got your card. And I got your sticker. The problem is I've been so busy that I even got my 3D printer and it's still wrapped up. I, I did set it up. I got the parts to fix the other resin 3D printer, but I haven't done nothing. I've been so busy doing other stuff and visiting family before the winter comes that I wasn't able to do anything. So Todd H, thank you. I got your card. I appreciate it. I hope everything is going good with you and your family. Um, hope to see your video soon. Um, also, I came on here, Rambler 69, that car you just did blew my mind. I mean, all my friends are looking at it. Anyway, I got a little grace with this car. One is the tires that came in it. I'm not too happy with these. They're like kind of like very hard tires. I, I just don't, don't care for them. And I don't care for when they take the parts like this. And put them so those are door handles so close to this material to cut this out it will take you about an hour or two you have to be very gentle precisely like a surgeon that I'm not crazy about it and I wasn't gonna open the car but I had to I had to get it over with and open it the other thing everything on this car for that brand because I have other cars that I bought and I keep saying this brand let me show you that one right there. A pretty parts for it, a heavy. So you want to say it's well built. This, I don't know where they went with the rear. The leaf springs are not bad, but the rear, if you hold it up to a light before you put it together, you can see right through it. Where did they go? What happened? You know, you did everything right, but then the rear part, you're cheap about it. That's just gripe by me. The next thing is, how many damn holes do we have to drill out? Excuse, excuse the word. I didn't mean to say that. How many holes do we have to drill out before we find the right ones? I mean, come on. The instructions do not help at all. The back instructions to the back of the car is like you would need to follow the worst instructions I've seen from this company. And I got all the cars of theirs, and I'll show them one day, and they're, they're great. But this instruction, and I'm sorry, guys, that it's taking me long. But I opened this car, and I shouldn't have maybe never opened it, because then it got me more upset than I wanted it. It's just a whole bunch of lines everywhere. It doesn't show you the bottom of the chassis to see where those things go. It's just lines pointed everywhere. And I understand some of us can deal with that. But some of us can't. We look at it and we, eh, what the hell is wrong with it? And the next thing I noticed that it was really, really bad on this car was the body. Not bad. The body's beautiful. The lines. If you get yours and you primer and you sand and you primer and you sand, these lines will disappear if you don't open them up. Because they're so thin. And another thing that I really have a gripe with, and I'm telling you, it's me. It's me, guys. What the hell is this? This is a toothpick. I can clean my teeth with this thing. Come on. You think you couldn't make a better roll cage? A thicker? More heavy? Look at it. You put it in the car, it's going to disappear. I'm going to make one. I'm going to show them one. And then I'll send it to them and let's see. But that's my gripe with this car. But besides that, I love the car. I'll be honest. I'm going to build it. It's got his name already. Forget about the gasser. It's called Old School Meets New School. And you'll know why when you see it that I finish it. Why would I call it that? Uh, I'm going to take you off the tripod. Move you around. Don't get upset, people. I know people don't like the movement. And I don't blame you. Neither do I. Still working on all my cars. Hold up. Sorry about that. Still working on all my cars. All of them, and I got a few ones that I opened up that I should have 
and I got more to open up, but it happened. Here's the machine, brand new. I haven't done nothing to it. Absolutely nothing. Took it out the box, put it there. Been there about a month and something, and then I got all the parts to fix this one, and I haven't done nothing with it either. I've been busy doing other stuff, and visiting family that I had to get to, because you know how things are lately, and I just had to take a trip and do what I had to do. Anyway, guys, thank you for staying with me. Thank you for putting up with my nonsense. This is Mike from Rad Ride Heaven. Everybody be safe. I know we're going through some hard times, so weather-wise, I see people's places were destroyed. It's a shame. Um, just be safe. Take care. And I'll see you guys again.